Hello guys and welcome back to Control Zero. Today I have a CCT advanced tutorial and I will show you how to auto restore a reset point all within CCT. And here's a quick demonstration. I'm going to command a reset point from off to reset. Reset, accept, and you will see that it's gonna change to reset and you notice that I have two points right there because we need a network input and a network output for this to work. So we are, we're in reset and after a few seconds it's going to go back to off, my main reset point. There you go, back to off. Now let's see how this will look like in Metasys and CCT. So I'm going to command my reset point in Metasys, same thing as we did in the controller. Gonna set it to reset, send the command. And then you can see that the point went to reset. And then I have a piece of logic that after a few seconds it's got to set it back to off. As you see in Metasys, it already happened. And CCT, there you go, back to off. Now, if you think this is a pretty cool trick, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, before we start, I want to tell you why it's something's handy to have this auto restore point. Let's say that you have an alarm that needs to be reset. Instead of commanding this point to reset and then back to off, with this logic, you just have to command it once. And this avoids leaving the point in the reset state, in case you forget to put it back to off. Okay, so the three basic elements that we're going to need is our point, the reset. It's a network input, and this is the point that is connected to your alarm that you want to reset. And notice it has a little icon here. I'll show you what that is. The second element is our logic block. I call it reset auto restore. If you go inside, it's a very basic logic. You just have a timer, a five seconds timer, uh, an input and an output. So our reset goes here and the output goes to a network output. So which is our third uh, element, which is this guy. And this is how it works. Let me go inside the logic, right click view logic. So anytime that I command my reset, to reset because you know that it has the units off reset so by default it's off so when we command this to reset my pulse is gonna be commanded for five seconds to on and then it's gonna go back to off and then that's why we have the, the boolean to enum translator so my reset is gonna be commanded to true or reset for five seconds and then and then back to off so this is going to command my network output. So what is going to happen is this. Let me rearrange the points a little bit. Anytime I command my reset point from off to reset, this point is going to command the timer inside here, which is going to be a, a pulse. And this five second pulse is going to command this network output from off to reset and it's going to stay at reset for 5 seconds. After the 5 seconds, it's going to be commanded back to off. But this point is somehow connected to the network input, and we're using peer-to-peer. -peer. That's why this little icon. So let's simulate this. I'm going to start the simulation at one time, the uh, real time. Okay, so in simulation mode, when we command a network input, you notice that uh, I can put it in test command it to reset, click OK, and send, and you see that the reset commands uh, my logic to reset and then my network output to reset, and it goes back to off. But note that in, in simulation, my reset stays like that. And why? Because in simulation, when you command these points, uh, they somehow remain in out of service. So if I double click on the point, you will see status out of service. So what you have to do to test it, as soon as you give it a command, you gotta command it again, right click command and restore. So when you do that, it's gonna go back to whatever this value is commanding at uh, this point. So let's do that again. I'm gonna right click command, I'm gonna reset. And as, as soon as I send the reset command, I'm just gonna restore it. So send the reset command, right click, restore and you will see that now it's going to work when as soon as this goes back to off this guy is going to go back to off there you go 
Now, uh, note that uh, I still haven't explained how my network outputs commands the network input. So I'll do that very soon. And since I have my controller currently connected, so I'm going to exit uh, simulation and I want to commission the actual controller because that behaves a, a little different from simulation. Now I'm going to go commission. I'm going to go next, next, finish. Now in commission mode, you will expect to be able to command this point, but actually you can only change its default value. So let's try that. So if I go to edit and I'll try to change my default value to reset and apply, close the window. And you will see that nothing happens, only this little green triangle, meaning that there was a change in the application during commissioning mode. So basically it's not going to work. Why? Because my network output is constantly commanding my network input. So I'm just going to put back uh, my default value to off. Now default value back to off, apply, close the window. So this is a downside of this logic. Uh, you cannot really command the point when you are in commissioning mode. The, uh, the only way to do it is through the uh, controller's display. But if you, if you don't have a display, the other uh, way will be to go to the front end, like in here, and just you know command your point. So I'm just going to do it right now really quick. Reset. They went to reset, reset, reset. After five seconds, goes back to off. And same way in CCT, back to off. Now I'll just exit commissioning. Yes. So the trick to have a network output send its value to a network input is this. First of all, uh, since both uh, network inputs and outputs are in the same controller so we we need to know the controllers backend id which uh, we can we can find it under defined hardware network settings so this is my uh, controller backnet id or instance number so we need this number 1007 so i'll close this and the other piece of information that we need is my network output object identifier which is you can find it here this is mb11834 so re remember this number and you can see that this point is a regular point that doesn't have peer-to-peer -peer enabled you can see that peer-to-peer -peer is disabled it has a value of one instance number device instance number is one so that's the default so we don't do anything with this point but just remember this number and we'll close this and going back to my reset point you can see that if I expand here that if that I have my peer-to-peer -peer enable here so how do you enable so if I go to edit basically uh, by default you have a number one here and a number one here and you have peer-to-peer -peer disabled so that's how the point comes. And if I leave the default, you'll see that uh, we don't have that little icon here. So watch this. I'm going to put the numbers back. So in order to write to this point, I need to tell it from which device and which point. So who is going to be my peer reference? So my device is actually this same controller, so 1007. So you can get points from actually other devices uh, command this network input. But in this case, we're using the same controller. So it's backnet ID is 1007. And which point in that controller? So we know that is my, my reset NWO. And that has an object identifier of 11834. So, and very important, I got I to gotta pick the type of object and I know it's a multiple value object. So in order for this to work, both 
points must have the same object type and unit. I'm gonna apply and you'll see. I got my icon right there. Close it. And that's how my network output will write to my network input. And finally, if you wanna know how I created this logic, uh, I can do it really quick. So basically you just add an activity. So I just type activity, click one and just give it a name. But in this case, uh, I already have it here. So I'm just gonna go inside. I'm just gonna go right click and view logic. And I'm just gonna replicate this. So basically we want an input. So I'm just gonna type inputs right here. And it's an enumerator. And I know that my enumerator is gonna be a, uh, a off reset state. So uh, let's let's do that. I'm just gonna give it a name. Just gonna do it all, all caps in this case. Reset network output. I'm sorry, input. And I'll do off reset. Apply, close. And then I know I need an enum to boolean translation, but if I do this trick, I go to timer and drag it over. And we want a five seconds uh, pulse. So by default, that's what we have. So we, have, we don't really have to do anything. And so if I try to connect, make a straight connection, you'll see that it automatically makes a translation. And it makes the right translation because we want off for false, reset for true. So let's see, off false, reset true. And similar way with my output. So I'm just gonna type output and enumerator. And remember that my inputs and outputs ma must match my network inputs and outputs in order to connect them. So right click or actually double click on it. Let's call it a res reset network output and let's do off reset, apply, close, and same thing, I'm just gonna make a straight connection. And once I got this, and actually let's, let's just delete this guy here. Okay, I'm gonna be missing the connections, that's fine. I'm just gonna double click here, and I'm just gonna go to connections, to control select my module and I just gotta connect my my two network points to my module so I'm just gonna right click make connection look for my reset point that's the only one with the uh, the same units click OK right click on my output and pick the my right point click OK and there you go. Now as a bonus, if you really, really wanna be able to reset your logic within CCT in commissioning mode, I have created this extra point. And I had to modify a little bit my logic. So let, let me show you what's inside. I have duplicated my first three objects and I named this input as reset-cct and that's where I connect my new input. So coming back to my uh, other view, let me show you how this will work. So basically we know that we cannot command network inputs in commission mode, but, but we can actually change their default values. So let's do that on this point. I'm gonna go to edit. And by the way, I put a little note uh, to not map this point because you don't really need to map the point. So basically I would change my default value to reset and it's gonna remain in reset because nothing is commanding this point. you'll see that everything goes to reset and after the five seconds it's gonna go back to off but the good thing about this logic is that if you forget to put your uh, cct point uh, back to off it's not gonna affect the logic because we put two different timers in my module as you see right here so my reset cct is staying in reset and then that's uh, true but my pulse already uh, happened, so it's false. So that means that uh, this can be re-triggered if we do it from uh, 
within Metasys or using the uh, controller display. So you should be safe. So this is the end of this advanced CCT tutorial. I know I went a little too quick, but I just wanted to assume that you know the basics. And if you want to learn more about how connections work, about Boolean, enum points, and so on, make sure to go to my channel and look for my CCT beginners playlist. And finally, guys, if you think this was a good CCT tutorial, please like the video, share it with your coworkers, subscribe to my channel, and send me any comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.